Charles, and today we're playing some more Life is Strange Before the Storm, episode three, Hell is Empty. So, I don't know why I said it like that. So, we left off with Rachel Amber in the hospital. Um, she got stabbed in the artery over here in her arm. She definitely could have died. Um, but we saved her because we're awesome and we love her. And now we're on a mission to find out who Sarah is. So, let's go ahead and jump back into this. I don't know if all my questions are going to be answered. I have so many questions. And we already played two hours of this. Oh, everybody, shut up, shut up! Hello? How did she get in? Right, yeah, we're here so that we need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. I forgot, yeah. So she gave us the code and everything like that so that way we can get in here. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Wow. Hmm. Don't break it. Sweet. A secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Ooh, Mikey. Most of yours do. Hey, Chloe, thanks again for visiting us. Drew says good luck out there. Thanks, good luck to him too. Chloe? Yeah. You're stronger than anything. Aww. Hope so. It's not time to cry yet, guys. It's not. Shake it. <laughs> it's the big one. What does that mean? It's the big one. Okay, anyway. Remember when everybody, like, in middle school, not middle school, but, like, elementary school loved snow globes? They probably still do. But I remember it being like a really big thing when I was younger. Okay, who is this? I can't read that. Arcadia Bay Police Report. I'm sorry, Police Department. Name. Oh, it's Damon. Wow, he's 31. Okay, all right. Oh, God, that, that hurt. He's six foot three and he weighs less than me. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, let's read this real quick. Okay, after a verbal altercation with the victim, Merrick brandished a fire poker, hitting the victim several times about the head before fleeing the scene. Merrick's gloves were removed, I'm sorry, recovered, and, and I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> recovered and entered into evidence. A 911 call was received at 10.21 p.m., and an officer arrived on scene at 10.38 with EMT. The victim was taken to a hospital, a bystander who requested to remain anonymous, named da Damon Merrick as the assailant. Asylum. Whatever, I don't know how to say that. Okay. Uh, crime report. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. So I can't look at any of this? Does it? All right, well, whatever. Open that shit up. <laughs> I'm so afraid what he's just going to turn here? around and be in here. I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. Okay, whatever. Fine. You were the one that opened it. Shit. <laughs> Sheldon. 
Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Yeah, same here. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Okay, um... What is I this? I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> mm. She really does not like this guy, but I don't know why. Oh, I can graffiti it. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It didn't give me an option this time. More sherry. <sighs> so that's all I can do with that? Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, open that up. Oh, I found the, the drawer. Welcome to Shadyville. Keep looking over here because I want to make sure everything's recording. <laughs> I'll be really upset if it's not. Okay, so here we go. Let's open this up. Really? To be in that big old box and it's locked too? Hmm. I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. What if it has nudes? I'm told you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line, eh? Let's talk. We'll call tonight. I found who you were looking for. Call you in 15. Well... This isn't a charity. I'm gonna need you to do what we talked about. I can't. Sure you can, because I talked to your girl and she has a big mouth. Huh. Turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need to be more hands on. Don't hurt her. Relax, I've got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know she attacked me first, right? It really should teach her to... Whoa, whoa, wait. Wait a minute. How's your daughter? You know she attacked me first, right? You really should teach her to behave better. This is Damon. It has to be. Because she he's asking, how's your daughter? This was today because she got attacked on the 9th. How's your daughter? You know she attacked me first, right? You really should teach her to behave better. Nothing. Guess you don't need this taken care of anymore. Wait a second. Taking care of what? Don't hurt her. Oh my God. Is Okay, right there. What is it? Okay, wait, 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 wait. This isn't a charity. I'm going to need you to do what we talked about. I can't. Sure you can because I talked to your girl and she has a big mouth. So it has to, that was days ago. So that has to be Sarah. Oh my God. James is working with Damon Merrick? Oh my god. This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Yes, yes! Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? You'll pay? Where is Sarah? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. So she's about to text him back and be like, where is Sarah? Or say you'll pay. Fuck. Uh, okay. I feel like if I say you'll pay, he'll, you know, be more cooperative. But if I say, where is Sarah, what if, um, what if James, Amber, Mr. Amber or whatever, already knows where Sarah is, so then he gets suspicious and he's just like, what do you mean? So I'm going to say you'll pay. Oh, no, I messed up. Oh, no, 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 I messed up. No, 
I didn't know that's what he meant. Oh my god. I messed up. Shit. What do I say? Oh my god, I messed up. I messed up. Oh, I messed up. Just say you did. Just say you did. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. Frickin' A! Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Oh, wait, hold on. Who is this to? Um, it's from... Gearheart? I don't know who that is. Okay, to him. It's called Enough. James, this is enough. When you told me at the park that you weren't going to let me be a part of Rachel's life, of course I was angry, but I understood your need to protect her. It's your prerogative as a parent. But sending that man to talk sense into me? Threaten me? Oh, no. You're losing the moral high ground here. What kind of way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter, and the lawyer I spoke with agrees. But more important, importantly, Rachel has the right to know who her mother is, to know the truth. Do what you know is right. Frick! I messed up. Oh, I messed up so bad. I should have clicked on the computer before I opened that thing. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. So, James is a piece of crap, so I take back what I said. He's a terrible person. He, he must have, like, paid or, like, talked to Damon to talk to Sarah to threaten him to stay away. Oh, my God. Really? I, I can't believe I just read that. I can't believe I just, I just saw that. What kind of person does that? Somebody with power, of course. That's the only thing I can make out of it. I'm so mad. Okay, can I look at this now or no? Oh, shit. Oh. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Could this be the evidence? Damon and Knives seem like a solid bet. Did Damon really shoot someone? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Wait a second, are these all the same victim? Could this be the evidence? It is. Damon and Knives seem like a solid... Huh. If TV has taught me anything... These babies will be swimming in DNA. Okay. Let's exit that and let's go back. It has to be the gloves. Because if you think about it, the gun shells are going to come out of a gun, obviously. So you still have to trace back how he got the gun. If he didn't leave a paper trail on how he got the gun, you'll never know. Especially if he took the gun with him. Now, with the knife, he had gloves on. So if he's holding on to the knife, there's no DNA on the knife of his. It's only going to be of the victim. And for the gloves, his hands were actually in those. So you can always get DNA from that. I want to go with the gloves, but at the same time, I don't want to mess this up. All right, I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to go. Which piece of evidence? I'm not going to look at anything else. I'm going to just take the gloves. And if that's wrong, then it's wrong. I did it. I did it. I did it! I did it! Okay. 
So that's what we gotta do. If I can figure out how. You could just take them. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Oh. Okay. I don't know why we have to do it right here, but whatever. Dude, drop it. Oof. Better not touch that again. Oh my god! How am I supposed to know that? No one, no more, no clue. No more! Oh my god. Fuck it! I hate this guy. Damn. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. Oh, okay, at least she said it back. I thought she wasn't going to say it. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching. I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. <sighs> Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay, okay. So, accuse. I don't want to click that and then it just accuse random people, so... Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. Right, like he's just hanging out with the wrong group. You could tell that he's not like, he's not like that at all. The way he loves Pompadou, Pompadou so much, no, no way. Who is this? It's Gerald, okay. I understand my rights and give them up of my own free will. I understand the judge is not bound by this agreement. I agree to aid the courts on a future cases. On future cases. Hmm. All right, so it might be Gerald. And then this is the last one. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Hmm. Has been very cooperative. No missed check-ins. Oliver Rutherford. Parolee signature Sheldon Pike. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So he's very cooperative. No missed whatevers. And then the other guy over here. This is hard because we got two. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Now, the only thing that gets me is that he's guilty. And usually if you're found guilty and they give you an option to snitch on one of your friends, they either let you go or they, like, cut your sentence down. I want to say it's going to be Gerald. I want to say it's going to be him, but I don't know. <sighs> Man, this guy's the snitch. He was so cool to me at the mill. Wonder if there's someone else I could pin it on instead. Dang. So it was him. Hold on, hold on. Let me read it. 
Inside left bicep, if the thunder don't get you, then the lightning will. Okay. American Samoan um, detained by Arcadia Bay Police Department on suspicion of drug trafficking, released after questioning by officer, described as a highly cooperative source of information on local criminal activity. I like that guy too, honestly. The other dude was a piece of crap. Him over here. I don't I don't like him. And I honestly don't know who Gerald is. So I think I'm gonna pin it. Who is this? It's a little weird having this guy's records at my fingertips. Who was this? This is that freak Sheldon. I'm gonna fucking tell Sheldon. I'm gonna say Sheldon. Cause he was the one that he was gonna like attack me and stuff. Okay, so how do I go? Where's the phone? Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Hmm. Vendor headshot, thunder headshot, Frank headshot. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? I mean, we already know who it is, but I just don't like him. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. And he's snitching on people. I mean, first of all, you're not supposed to snitch on nobody. Ah, oh, dang. But he was the nicest I one. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. I want to know what happens if I pick the wrong person. Like, I don't like this guy at all. Everyone at the mill said he is a douchebag. He was the nicest one. Oh, my God. He said, she said that she better be sure that he's right. Oh, man. I'm going to have to cut this because I really got to think about this. I don't know what to do. And I don't want to cheat. I really don't want to cheat. Oh! I don't know what to do. I'm gonna do it. I'm I'm going with um I'm going with this dude. You know, I'm so freaking tired of this dude. Payment? Fuck. How much I'll have it. Oh my god. This is so freaking stressful. This is so freaking stressful. I don't want to press how much and then he gets mad at me. But if I say I'll have it. Oh my God. I'm going with how much. I know y'all gonna hate me. How much? How much? The exact amount your pig stole from me. God. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. But where would it be? I'm so tired of this dude. Where else would it... What? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Investigate that shit. I'm over here shaking my desk. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh my Holy god. Shit. Yo. Oh my god. How is she going to get out of here? All right. Good work and now here's your girl ready to go. Fuck, that's Sarah. And She's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Oh my god, these games are twisted as hell. Okay. Bring me the package and we can finish the job. Let her go. I'll be right there. No, I'll be right there. Shit. Don't do anything in the meantime. You really are new at this. Better hurry. This chick's starting to get on my nerves. Oh my god. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, 
I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Oh my god. Hey. Elliot? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? He sure did. Holy crap. I can't really talk about it. Rachel... Rachel needs my help. I'm sure she does. I'm more concerned about you. Who cares? I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Neither should you, Chloe. Girl. What is... Ah. Boy! Oh my god. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, god, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? None of your business. It is serious. Rachel's mother. Just... I, I can't talk much about it. It has to do with Rachel's mother. Her real mother. And that explains you breaking into the DA's home and having this? Believe it or not, yes. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. That wasn't her fault. And she saved me. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop. Stop. Well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, she did. She really did, though, right? Because the first night, it was Chloe's problem. Because Chloe broke into the, um, into the mill. Not broke into. But she went to the mill. And she was hanging out. And she bumped into some weird dudes. And they were going to beat her up regardless. That was before she even talked to Rachel. And then Rachel literally came and saved her. But she did end up getting into a fight. That's because I threw a bottle. I could have did something else so that way I didn't have to get hit in the face. But that wasn't her fault. That was me. Suggesting that she's somehow bad the for- The next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. That's true. It was my choice. She defended me. Oh, God, he's making some serious points right here. It was my it was my choice, and she defended me. These are both right. Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? Mm. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. You you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. Mm. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Damn. Elliot, I, I promise. N no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. Yo. Elliot is a true one. 
for real. He is a true one. I feel so bad. Like, the stuff that he's pointing out now, I'm just like, you know what? F Rachel. Because it's true. Chloe is infatuated with that woman. And she's like, everything he said is so true. And it's like, from the outside looking in, yeah, maybe he hasn't been a part of their conversations. But you ever thought that maybe everyone loves her because she is fake? You know? God, oh my God, that's crazy. Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Nah, you don't. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Calm him, walk past him. He's actually really mad, but he's blocking her exit, so. Elliot, please. I know you're upset. But... I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Oh my god. Call for help? Walk past him. I'm gonna walk past him. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? Okay, never mind. I, I take that back. He acted crazy. But I know he really wants to protect her because she's really making, like, a lot of bad choices because all of this you shouldn't be doing for some girl that you met, like, a month ago. But I'm sorry. No, they've only been hanging out for, like, a week. Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I, I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. To succeed in back talk, listen, I can't do this. It's just okay. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and we should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. I'm so scared. Rachel is dangerous. I'm so scared. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is at great risk. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. I do need help. I need help immediately. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. Hurry up, attempt and move. I wish I could be. I feel trapped. Boxed in. Oh, I, I did. desperately want to leave this situation. I did it! <laughs> it takes a lot of guts to tell me all this. And I want you to know that I will always be there for you. No matter what. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here. 
What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, shit, um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. Dang. Why is he just standing there? Why was he just standing? I would have been like... Ooh, is she driving now? Yay! I just realized she's driving without a license plate. Probably without a license plate. I gotta pee, y'all. I gotta pee. All right, we're back. It's getting good. It's getting good. It's getting good. Sorry, I really had to pee. So much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. Oh God, that scared that me. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, dad. Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I think you didn't. I just don't know. I suppose everyone lies. I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff mom doesn't know about me. So you probably lied too. Would you love me less? Maybe a little. I'd never want you to love me any less. I might do all kinds of things to prevent that. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? I guess it's better this way, not knowing. Then I'll always be the perfect dad? How many people get to say that? Stop it! This fucking song! No word. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick. All for Rachel. Mm -hmm. Am I crazy? Mm -hmm. Hella crazy. Oh! I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. 
I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Here we go. 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 Okay, let me stop. <clears throat> Shit. Is that blood? Isn't that Frank's RV? Frank? Don't be scared now, girl. Frank! She didn't say anything. Her mouth didn't move. <laughs> This is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Um, loud ass buses. <laughs> this is terrifying. Oh, I forgot the mill was also burned down. I totally forgot about that. Where the hell is Sarah? Yo. Wow. No more beer. No more time. I've got to keep moving. Oh, take that shh. Glad I saw that. You gotta believe me. I I'm not a god where is it? Can I swipe it? Anything else? Can I go up the stairs? Or no, the stairs are destroyed. No! Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does your he- daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed no, up. No, he doesn't. He said don't hurt her. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. Yeah, that's freaking heroin. That's the most addictive drug out there. You can do this. Oh my god. Damon. Get ready for the quick action! What the hell are you doing here? Use the knife. I've got your money. I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, <clears throat> just let her go, and I won't say- <sighs> Ah! No! no! Fucking A! Things over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck?
You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. I knew it. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! Oh my god, I can't do this! No! Go to your fucking happy place. Right. Oh my god. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Why did he shoot you? Oh, I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Oh, was that the other day? Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Oh my god, he kicked her in the head! Sarah. He freaking kicked her in the head like it was a freaking soccer ball, yo! Oh my god! Like, I'm pretty sure she has a concussion. <clears throat> Sarah? Chloe Price. You know who I am? I saw you in the play. You were funny. Thanks. Sit. Sarah. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so... So sorry for Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Oh. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? Oh. You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. So for some reason I thought that in the beginning she was taking money because it was like child support, but the opposite, right? No, he was literally paying her to stay away from his daughter, from her own daughter. 
for years. So it could have been time, like times before when she wanted to see her, but he kept paying her instead. And well, I mean, she kept taking the money. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't. James Amber made it sound like she chose the money over her on, like she, she had said, no, I'd rather have money instead of seeing my daughter. But she wanted to meet her. That's why they first proposed and she was like, here, I'll just pay you. But either way, she's still guilty of taking the money. But oh my God, this is so freaking deep. <clears throat> I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was, he was picking up my mother from the grocery store and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. Oh my God, guys. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain, every fear, gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I heard what Damon said. You've been sober for a year. You beat this before. You can beat it again. Why do I have a feeling that she's no. dead? Like this is a dream. I, feel I like can't. This is a dream. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just, I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented, <clears throat> and she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and, and Rose lets him walk all over her. Yeah, that's true. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? That's true. She has a really strong point. Because she already lost her real mother. That truth came out. So if we go ahead and tell her that, you know, the father is the reason why you can't see your mom and all this other stuff, and what he did, it'll be as if she, did, she doesn't have any parents. In her mind, she will have lost her mother and her father. That's twice the pain that Chloe has gone through. You can't lie to her, but you're going to have to try. Don't you want to see her? You came here for it. You got sober. You deserve the chance to know your daughter. Nothing what was that? Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing 
I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. <clears throat> the one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe. Wait, so that conversation actually happened. That wasn't a dream. Wow. So what happened to Frank? What happened to Damon? Oh my God. Hello? <clears throat> Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. Are you gonna leave? Okay. <laughs> How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. Oh my god, guys, I can't with this game. So. How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. No! <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree with Sarah. I really do. But at the same time, I truly feel like you really need to let someone know the truth. But at the, but at the same time, at the same time, it's going to seriously hurt her. It's going to hurt her so much. Oh my God. I'm, I'm a protector. So D, protect Rachel from the truth. Hey. What's wrong? I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny, you seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah, me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. Maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. 
I know wherever she is, she loves you very much. How do you know that? Because why should she be any different from the rest of us? That was nice. Oh my god. Imagine if I would have picked the other one, dude. So she goes over there and she has dinner with him all the time. Oh no, why do I look like that? She killed him. That's a big knife, yo. God. Oh, it's Papa Do. Pompadour. How do you say his name? I forgot. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's so nice. She's like, ah, ah. <clears throat> oh, he's leaving. Oh, no, he got in trouble. care what happened between them so whatever bye Nathan bye game you guys I still have questions though okay good I was like I need my questions answered it's still going okay
Because in the first game, he like drugged her a little too much or something like that, and all that stuff happened. Yeah, I got questions. Ooh, ooh. What are y'all doing? Just take the picture. from the first game. Please? Please? Bonus episode, farewell. Thanks for playing before the storm. Don't miss the bonus farewell episode available in the deluxe edition. Okay, um, I have the deluxe edition, so where it at? Okay. Real quick, I'm just gonna add this to the to the episode. Okay, great. We're gonna go into collector's mode and we're gonna tell the truth because I wanna see what happens. Okay, here we go. Tell Rachel everything. See how it goes. Oh my god, look how angry she is! Yo! Oh, but that doesn't show me meeting her mom! Dang! I'd have to go back and play it. So, I'll make another episode of me going back and playing it. Um, restarting the episode, because that's going to take forever and I really don't feel like doing that. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. This game is... I still honestly like Life is Strange, the first one, more. I, I like it more than Before the Storm. This had a lot of drama. It didn't answer all the questions that I have. Hopefully, with that little clip that they showed of like the 17 missed calls from Chloe, um, hopefully they go into more detail about that. For the next part, maybe Before the Storm 2, or maybe they call it something else, I still wanna know what's next i don't know i just need to know everything about this entire story so yes again 
Thanks for watching. Give this a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.